Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for This Week in Ink number 10, and Josh is here again. Hi everybody. That unintentionally rhymed. <laughs> okay, so um, we have some interesting stuff. Um, we didn't quite make a week, but that's okay, because we are made like a week and a half, and that's going to be perfectly fine. Um, this one will also be uploaded to SoundCloud if you want to check out Jake's take there. Um, and that's about it on the video podcasty thing itself. Um, there are a few channel updates. I finally have people sending me stuff to review, so keep an eye out for that hey. if any of that actually comes through. Um, one of those will be live mm, probably by the time I air this. Um, be some pin unboxings, but you'll see that later. Um, let's go ahead and um, discuss what we uh, have been carrying, maybe not necessarily today, but, um, you know, in general for the past week or so that we've been missing. So what have you been carrying, if anything, Josh? I've literally just been carrying my next. I mean, it's such a it's nice a pen. pen. It's, I just it like the pen itself. So <clears throat> I've had to take a lot of notes this last week. So it's been very, very helpful. And I haven't lost it, so it's even better. That's always a good thing when you when you don't lose your pens that you exactly. bought. Um, I I've been doing the thirty days thirty inch challenge, which I've been talking about for the past twenty five days. Um, five more days left in it, so yay! That's Woo! it's been exhausting. Um, so for Savannah, I actually had to carry several pens and several inks and ink them up on the road, which was a massive pain, and then clean them out. Um, but lately, um, or today at least, I carried. Um, the Moon Man Wonkai Mini, which is, uh, I'll have the review of it very soon. As well as the um, Artist and Colory Tactic, which is actually a rollerball pen, or ballpoint. I'm not, it depends on what hmm. refill you use in it. It's one that um, White Mountain Knives has lent me for review. And they also sent me a pen to give away, which um, you can check out in the unboxing video. So once the review of these pens goes up, I will be um, announcing the giveaway of that one in the review for that pen. Is awesome it's worth about 90 bucks so definitely check that out um and also i just got in um which i did a live stream of i'm sorry you missed that josh um yeah i just got in yeah, the sure. fountain pen revolution guru not very impressed with them i'm just gonna Aww. lead off with that yeah, that's sad. Yeah, they're not great well th there's a lot of competition now in the budget market for fountain pens and you know there wasn't that much you know two years ago but now it's that's a really intense area that's true that is true like there, there's a lot you like especially between Twi uh, twisby and pilot and all them you really got to be swinging hard if you're coming in the in between the you know five to fifteen dollar price range mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of competition there i'm um, now that the pilot metropolitan's up to 18 it's a little bit less i suppose but it's still it's very intense um, space, especially with a lot of the Chinese knives, um, like the Wing Sung, Pin BBS, Delike, all that stuff. It's a, it's, it's a tough competitive space. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Um, oh, also, Josh, I figured I would let you know this. Um, one of my viewers who um, watches pretty regularly, he is actually, um, I believe it's a he. Could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, As someone. Yeah, the, this person <laughs> um, lives in Germany. Oh, and nice. And we were speaking on my live stream about the uh, some Lamy pens. The Lamy Ion, as well as the Lamy <clears throat> CP1, and uh, stuff like that are actually cheaper over there than a Twisby Eco is. Oh, wow. Like the Lamy I guess, Ion, I think, I is close to like 40 US dollars over there. I mean, it does, but... I might be buying a butt ton of Lamy pens over there, man. <laughs> if they're like half the price they are here in the U.S., you know, sure, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I might be bringing you back some of those as well. But we'll see. All right. Um, did you um have anything you wanted to add? Anything eventful that's happened, or anything you found out before we jump into the topics? Mm, not really. Not off the bat. Um, I might as well just go ahead and start, just in case. Okie dokie. We'll go ahead and start off with the um, announcement of the Pelican M205 Olivine. 
So this is their yearly edition of the M205. <laughs> Josh, I don't know if you know that they do these, but um, for the past several years, they've announced a um, an M205, which is their steel nib entry-level pen. They're fairly small, um, and they've been modeling them after gemstones. Oh. And I know that you like gemstones. I um, do. I don't really care too much for Pelican, but I like gemstones. That's something I am interested in. I really like my Pelican. However, um, their prices are... Ridiculous. High. They're high. Ridiculous. To say the least. <laughs> so I haven't actually tried their M205 nibs, but I've held the pen. And for me, it is very tiny. I know some people like the M205 nibs, or the, not the M205 nibs, the M205 size of very, very well. Oh, I'm not one good. of them. Um, and if you'll check the link I just posted in Discord, there's the matching yes. ink. So this year's... I actually don't hate the olive vine color. It's kind of like an army green kind of thing. <laughs> it's literally an olive green. Yeah. Yeah. It's not... I don't even know how to describe it. It's not a shade of green I would like. It's almost an ugly shade of green, but it's tolerable. It's honestly tolerable. I think I like the ink better than I the like the pen. The ink is so much better looking than the actual pen, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, as someone that has... Like, already swamp green ink. I don't really need it, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good description, swamp That's green. That's literally what it really looks like. It's just kind of like a see-through swamp green. It's... Like I said, it's not terrible, it's tolerable. You know, I don't hate the um, olive vine color. I will say with a pen, I, I wonder what it would have looked like if they did gold trim. I wonder if it would... Ooh, actually, gold would have looked much better with this. It would have accented it That's so much better. That's what I was better. thinking. Because gold and green tend to go together fairly well. Yes, because they're very good matching colors. As long as I only yeah, use they're... a dark, dark gold. Yeah, it would have to be uh, like an actual literal gold plating. Yes, exactly. Ooh, that but would be, be very honest... pretty, actually. I'm really wanting to see that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should buy it and have it plated yourself. I'm sure it won't cost. It won't cost me too much, you know. I'm already spending yeah. $150 on it. Might as well just drop another 150 That's something... Now, my Pelican... I love the nib on that thing. It writes super, super well. And it was $500. But it's a limited edition. It's a massive pen with an 18 karat, very intricate, very beautiful nib. This is simplistic. It's steel nibbed. It's tiny. And granted, it's limited edition too, but it's really just a translucent plastic. And it's $150. I feel like all we do on this um, podcast is just... Jacob, we have to, we have to tear them down. <laughs> everybody knows by now there's foul language on this thing. I feel like all we do is bitch about the prices of these pens, but this is too, it's too high. It, it's yeah, just so too saying, high. Like, it's just, it's an overexpensive swamp green pen. And I think this is the same price they do every year. They're limited edition 205s. But Ooh. when I can go and find 205 in one of the normal colors, which in my opinion look better than this, for like, Ninety dollars used. Let me get the pen for like a hundred and twenty bucks. Don't be, and even then I think it'd be a bit high. But a hundred and fifty is just way. You're way overreaching with that one. It yeah, you know? it's expensive. Way too it's, expensive for something that's not even that great. I mean, at that point, just save up that amount of money again, and you can basically purchase yourself a used M800, which is larger with a gold nib, exactly. and hold, holds more ink, and it has a much higher resale value. Um, it's just, I just don't see this one. Like, I'm looking I at really their like some others. of the past editions, but I'm this one's... Their, mm. oh, yeah, so I'm looking at their past editions. The Amethyst is absolutely beautiful, because I have... Oh, the Amethyst, Amethyst is gorgeous, that purple. And the Aquamarine is really nice. But, like, this is, nice not, too, yeah. this is not on the same level. <laughs> no. I feel like... It doesn't feel like a gemstone finish to me. It feels kind of boring. And it, I hate yeah. to say that, but... I'll say it. Pelican, you're too expensive to be this boring. Honestly, I kind of like the uh, Smoky Quartz as well. I think that's what it was, the brown one. Yeah, the Smoky Quartz. What was yeah, it? That, that, even that one was nice. But this one, maybe it's because it's it's somewhat close to the green Pelican normally offers anyway. I just, I don't see it. it. might just be me, but it's just, I can't see spending $150 on this. Granted, if you love this color and you collect these Pelicans, sure. Yeah, I mean, but that would for be me, really pretty. For me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hard pass on this one. Yeah, and I, I would probably do that anyway just because of the size, but if they put out a really compelling finish, you know, maybe. 
But this, mm -mm. yeah, I'm looking at it here on Google Pictures. Um, it looks like one of the pictures is a guy and it's in his hands. I wouldn't say it's tiny, tiny, but it's obviously smaller than a lot of other pens. Like, just literally look up Pelican M205 Smoky Quartz. Also, it's the M200, not M205. But, um, oh, so it's the, it's the uh, gold trim? Yes, it's the gold trim. This is the gold yeah. trim I would say that would look absolutely beautiful with this. But, like, one of them is a guy in his hands, and the pen does look tiny. Like, it just barely fits three fingers. That sounds so weird yeah, saying. They're, they're, but, they're very small. Yeah. Like, I just can't see paying $150 for such a tiny pen. It's. This is like you buying well, that giant ass uh, knife. Like, if I want to spend money, I want to be able to cleave someone down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah, so I paid a hundred dollars for that thing. It's worth it in just the materials along the D two steel and the titanium for two for a hundred bucks. Like, might as well. That it, it's, it's very it's nice just knife. It's I ridiculous, really but it's nice. Oh yeah, it's it's a massive <laughs> fucking stupid thing, and I love it. Um, he announced a sequel to it. I'm super excited. Ooh. Let's see if I get him to see it. Um, <laughs> but what I find interesting is. Pelican has done more compelling versions of pens recently. Um, did you see the uh, Pelican M120 Iconic, uh, like light blue or whatever the hell it was, um, when we were at the pen show? Mm, let me look it up. It was M120? Yeah. Iconic blue. Yeah, they just did a green and black oh, one no, not, not too long one. ago. Did you pick this one up? Oh, God. No. I wanted to. Oh, okay. I, was say, I don't remember seeing this one. but There's a special edition box set that it like launches with. Here, oh. I'll send you a link. Um, Pelican's Perch has it. Yeah, the box with the ink in it. Yeah, the blue Ooh, one. Like, it looks vintage. This is vintage. so pretty, though. Yes, I love it. So, I'm a very yeah, so, it. so that is like $212, I think. That's worth so it. So it's it. It's an extra, you know, 60 bucks. Yeah. But you get this limited edition packaging. You get this limited edition ink with this really, really cool label. And you get, a, in my opinion, a much more unique pen. It's it's not flat top and bottom like the Pelicans are nowadays. It's cigar shaped like they're vintage. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's, it's that's cigar. It's very nice looking. And it's it's gorgeous. The pen was amazing. It was just way too small for me when I picked it up. But I, I seriously considered um, purchasing that at the pen show. It's, so I think if Pelican's nice. going to offer these, I mean, granted it's a steel nib, but it's a really, really interesting, really cool steel nib. And it's a piston filler, and I can, you know, if if I'm really, 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 really closing my eyes and just going, it's a gorgeous <laughs> pen, I can, I can almost see 212, but I don't know. Uh, oh. It's nice. I think it's nice. I have no clue why you sent me this link. Oh, was this the link you sent me? Speaking of Pelican, um, let's go ahead and move on to the Stone Garden. <clears throat> Speaking of nice pens, let's go ahead and move on to one that's actually nice. God, I love this fucking it's thing. It's absolutely beautiful, actually. It's I on can't... the opposite spectrum of the Swamp Green one. Yeah, and what, what's weird is um, if you zoom into the picture, this is Pelican's photo. Sometimes their colors can be a little odd. One, I love Pelican's nibs. They're gorgeous. Immaculate. Um, so this is the exact same size of pen that I bought and with my Ocean Swirl, um, but mine is silver trim, this is gold trim. And I can't tell, but I think the section, the uh, piston knob, and the cap, they almost look like a dark blue to me. Are you seeing that, or do you kind of see a black? Wait a minute, let me... No, I see dark blue. That's what, I, that's what I'm seeing, too. And to be fair, that kind of offsets the orange and purple in the barrel. I love this thing. It is very, like, very beautiful. Like, if I had the money to buy it, I would buy it right freaking now. I don't. How <laughs> but much if is I it? did. Uh, like I don't see a price. It's a little over $500. Ooh, ooh. 50984. Jesus. Mm. Yeah, so that's a standard price for Pelicans Unlimited Edition M800 or 805s. Yeah, so I'm looking at other pictures and it is dark blue and it makes me want this pen just so much more. <laughs> I don't have the money for this though, but goodness gracious, yeah, this thing's this thing's immaculate. Like if I hadn't gotten the Ocean Swirl and I hadn't seen other 
you know, versions that interested me, this would be the one. Of course, they release these awesome editions back to back to where, you know, I definitely don't have the money to buy the second one. But, but you this must choose, just, Jacob. You must choose. I, I would choose the Ocean Swirl every day. That, <laughs> that thing is just it's beautiful. I love this one though. It's a very unique. It is. Very it's very interesting. Nice. Pen. I'm I actually am a really big fan of this one. As someone that's not a huge fan of Pelican in general, this is a very nice pen. But yeah, that was it, just it I is. It so much. Uh, I, I love the detail in it. I love Pelican's details in general. I love the Pelican face and bill clip. I love the nib. They're, they, in my opinion, just hands down have the most beautiful they, freaking Yeah, nibs. their nibs are absolutely gorgeous, though. I'll give, I it love that. I'll give the them that. I'll give them that. On my Pelican, it's it's just, damn, it looks nice. <laughs> and this one, this the, the nib on this one is my favorite nib of theirs. It's the two-tone silver and gold. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Looks great. The detail work on these pelicans is fantastic. These things hold a ton of ink. And I really like this material. It looks like it has some depth. It's almost like, um, to me at least, it looks like somebody took orange and purple-ish blue stripes and ran them kind of around the pen and then pulled from the top and bottom to split them in between each other. It looks like they're, they've been woven almost. Woven, kind of yeah, woven's a good way to out. put it. Yeah, it's, it's, there were some obvious placements there. It's like very, it's very random. nice. I, I, I love the finish. And an interesting thing with these materials, which is the same with the um, ocean swirl that I have, is each one's going to be different. So some are going to have more of that blue-purple, some are going to have more of the orange. And I think I think this pen can be very polarizing. I could certainly see how someone was like would be like, this is just, this pen's fugly. This is the worst looking on earth but no, i love I just, it i can't see it it's such a pretty i band. love it you must it rem- you have to hate like both colors <laughs> yeah and i like both of them so. exactly I'm like this is <laughs> this has to be like your most hated colors in the world for them to be like this is ugly because it's a really nice pen you know what it reminds me of kind of the color scheme like a renaissance like medieval jester kind of outfit oh it does the orange and purple it's really do yeah yeah it's 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 very oh. contrasting i like it quite a bit interesting i never thought about that but yeah it does let's let's go into half seas you can never carry it to work because you'll lose it shut up um, <laughs> okay so it does it does in fact say the section piston knob and cap are all done in a dark blue resin which beautifully beautifully complements the blue and brown marbling effect on the cellulose acetate barrel wow that's a mouthful that was a mouthful these things are just amazing and they have the a picture of the ballpoint down at the bottom if you're into spending tons of money and getting shitty pens <laughs> um, I mean, it's three hundred and fifty bucks. Just spend the extra hundred. It is honestly, the, yeah, it is. It doesn't even bucks. look that good. Their color scheme is the opposite of the actual fountain pen, where the cap is it and the body yeah, no, is the I purple. Don't like it. And it's not as pretty. I'll give it that. It's really not as pretty. I think I've identified, at least to me, why it's less appealing. Um, so with the cap being that same material, with the gold trim and the clip, it looks like there's too much going on. It looks way too busy right it there. It does, the because the fountain pen... And it pen, looks too it's... boring down at the body. Yeah. Because if you lose the cap, you're, you're SOL, and then you just have an ugly purple pen. But oh, that's know. not the cap. That's just, that's like fixated on the back. Oh, I thought it was a cap. That's why I'm sitting there like, no, I just understand why to, you would it's do... It's meant to look like one. Why it's would just you ugly. do a cap if it's not even pretty, but... Yeah, it's... Mm-mm. Anywho... Mm-mm. Pelican, expensive as crap. Nice pen. But damn, they're beautiful. Pelicans it's on really some really, pretty. really gorgeous stuff. All right, let's continue moving forward. Um, so the next one's very, very interesting. So um, as you know, I just purchased the Kara's Customs Decograph Monsoon, which is actually yeah. pictured here off to the left of it. Love that pen. That orange and dark gray is the just is absolutely beautiful. an amazing combo. It really I is. I love that. God, that, that pen's make my top five this year. I don't care. Um, so Keras Customs kind of, sort of, announced that they're going to be making some inks. And their ink bottles and the logos look pretty interesting. They, they look do. like they're keeping the cost um, relatively low. down. They don't look like they're going to cost a ton. But, you know, they're interesting names. Um, and I, I'm curious to see what they do with this. Um, they do offer rollerball and ballpoint pens as well, but I think fountain pens is really what got them... Um, fairly well known and I really really like their fountain pens um, I, I've had a fountain K before but it was just too small for me 
but this decagraph is just amazing. And I felt kind of bad because several people in this post in the comments were like, hey, when are you making this pen? Is this a pen that you're gonna... <laughs> I saw that. That was one right here that was like, orange decagraph of black section. Is this a previous model or to come? And you're like, are you... Are you kidding me, guys? Did you... So my comments I saw actually your right comment below that. Right below it, yes. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. Oh, that's sad. That's... Yeah. It's beautiful, though. Well, the problem sad. is... Oh. Um, I, I don't know if I ever told you how much they, how many of them they made. So, Ten. no, but you're not that far off. Oh, Jesus um, Christ, I was, I was joking. <laughs> so, um, they had had an issue anodizing their aluminum, or finding a consistent um, anodizer to do it in orange, like a good consistent orange for a while. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this is sort of a celebration of them coming back to form with that. But, um, basically, I had found uh, some Kara's... Uh, customs like newsletter which i don't always go through them but i occasionally i was on this particular particular day doing that um so i was going through the newsletter and they just made mention of an an orange and gray pen they were going to be releasing soon and i was like okay i'm gonna have to keep up with this on the day they launched it i went and i was like okay let me look at these and see how much they are and i'll decide whether or not i want them so they were a little high but um i also had a coupon offer from them so i ended up getting this pen with a titanium nib instead of a steel nib for like 130 bucks and holy crap titanium is it's such an amazing cheap alternative to gold like the the sponginess is there the softness the the flex it the ink flow is there it's i'm not gonna get started on titanium as you can check out my review of that pen for the full thing but i love titanium nibs um long story short and they're about 60 dollars cheaper than gold nibs yeah gold uses so. just for the look well, they, they, they write a lot different as well, um, and and they're usually a bit more attention paid to them just because it's more precious metal. So they'll, in my experience, they not all gold nibs write well. I'm going to say that right now. But um, if you're a bit heavy-handed like I am, you may appreciate the softness of a gold nib. If you write very light, you probably won't. You probably won't notice anything. But I, I certainly notice the difference, and I appreciate it a lot. And titanium gives me that kind of feel without the price bump. Anyway, when I was looking at these pens, um, they basically had it in this finish that you're seeing here, um, which is stone washed, and they had it in the finish on mine, which is basically pristine. They had, if I remember correctly, 40 of the finish that I got, and then 15 of the stone washed. The stone washed was a little cheaper. Oh my god, there's the, so few of them. Yeah, because the finish wouldn't have to be as, as fancy. That's ridiculous. But, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, they are, so there are about 55 of these made worldwide mm, as far as This is going to, like, <laughs> if this, like, if they blow up really hard, this is going to be triple, quadruple the pricing, because that's not a lot. Can I tell you something? Tell me. So I've never had anyone offer to buy anything that I've, you know, without me provoking it to start out with. Yes. But, um... Yeah, so <laughs> I've already had two offers to purchase this pen from me. Oh wow! Um, I will not sell it if you're curious, unless three thousand dollars. And I was, th I, I thought about this very hard, like driving down the road one day. I was like, five thousand dollars. What if somebody offered you two hundred dollars, which is more than I paid for it? And I was like, mm, three hundred, no, four hundred, probably not. If you offer me five hundred dollars or more, <laughs> we're not putting out probably, an ad here. This is not. I Craigslist, will probably but... sell you this pen. <laughs> But I'm going to be honest with you. If you're trying to pay $500 for this pen, you're probably an idiot. <laughs> Maybe someone unless just, you just absolutely unless you loves just that money orange. to burn. Yeah. It's a really so, pretty yeah, pen, though. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. I, I, like it. I like it quite a bit. It's it's definitely making my top five this year. I'm not sure, you know, how high it's going to sit. But it's it's a fantastic pen. Especially for the price. Because it's just, just below that gold nib. And it's a... Uh, it's a very premium, nice material made of a solid billet of aluminum. It's it's great. And the craftsmanship that Kara's Customs puts in their pens, especially with the aluminum finishes, are just amazing. So long long rant short, um, really looking forward to these inks. And I love the names, the Canterbury Blue yes, and the Wolf Gray. Yes, the Canterbury Blue and the Wolf Gray. There, it's yeah, just, so... Maybe it's because of the filter he has on it. Maybe it's just, they feel nostalgic. 
Like I absolutely I love the That's kind I of love the aesthetic. packaging. I love the way it looks. I I just have, I'm hoping this looks absolutely beautiful cuz Have you I actually love looked too, at so. their website before? No, I tried to look at their website while you were talking and it, the page is down. Which it could be me oh, wow. I can't look up anything. So if you can try to look it up yourself, but like I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Hope you can. No, I'm having trouble with their page as well. Okay, so it's not just me for once. Yeah, it's just like it's down for some reason. Yeah. That's yeah, sad. It seems like it might be. Um, while we're on this topic, I actually wanted to send you something. So I reached out to this company um, called Ferris Wheel Press, and I was like, hey, do you guys want to send me some of your stuff? Because I had never heard of them. <laughs> I was like, hey, do you guys want to send me some of your stuff? Um, they're a fairly new press. company. And, uh, yeah. Um, and I was I was curious. I was like, you know what? I kind of like your your aesthetic. Um, so maybe we can... I have no clue how to spell that. See what's going on. Let me... Um, Link me, Jacob. Because I want to know what you're to. talking about. Because I'm confused. The pen is okay looking. It looks fairly interesting. Oh. I'm going to link you to their ink, though, which is about to launch on Kickstarter fairly soon, and I'm going to be jumping Yeah, see, I would have never thought to look up Melchi. <laughs> Ooh, I love the... I love this, the, the beginning. The bottles station. are fucking oh, crazy. Oh, my God. These are absolutely pretty. Oh, my God. These are so beautiful, though. I know. You can see their pen as well in those pictures if you're if you're curious. The packaging for the ink at, at the bottom is just gorgeous. I'm going to be buying oh one of each God. of these. I don't care if they're forty dollars a piece. Like I hope they're not, but Jesus, I will buy them. This is honestly beautiful packaging between the font, the coloring. I know. And the oh colors. my God. Oh my God. I, and the I, box I for it. Oh, yeah, I know. It's amazing. Oh. I'm, I love I'm wondering the names. if this company is kind of like Baron Fig and that they're more marketing than product, but we'll see. Um, I love these colors, the pinkish red, the kind of green blue, and the and the purpley blue. Um, so I'm definitely yes. going to get each one of these. Oh my God. If you want, Josh, I will be more than happy to send you a link to their Kickstarter once it launches. Please do, because I'm gonna be I, would love to, I would love to add. Just, you understand that. I absolutely love... I love... Okay, <laughs> I love all three of these colors. They're vibrant, but they're not overpowering vibrant. Yeah. And the packaging is like, it's absolutely beautiful. As someone that loves beautiful inks, just the bottles, this is absolutely beautiful. This is, they're breathtaking, honestly. They're, they're, they're amazing looking. They knocked it out of the park with the packaging, the yes. presentation. You see the box? Like, it's near the bottom. It's the third picture over on the right. It's the box I guess is supposed to come in, and it's absolutely beautiful. Like, normally boxes aren't beautiful, but this is absolutely beautiful. I noticed pretty. that too. And I'm like, how? I, I'm wondering if they're going to offer it like a three pack. I really hope so. I would I hope so too. So. Oh my God. Um, I would love to open this cell for you. But yeah, they're, they're very, very, very interesting. Um, Sorry, I had to gush for a second because the fine, one man. way to get at least me really interested in something is if it comes out and it's beautiful packaging it could be like a horrible pen i'm like well damn that's some good packaging though might as well buy it anyway yeah i i, I trust me i very very much appreciate good packaging yes um that's a a very big thing to me so gonna yeah. put myself on the email list hope they don't sell <laughs> my email um quick quick um pen interjection you just sent me a link to something called the Squid Industries Mako. Yes. Which is a, uh, a balance song trainer. Um, okay, so you saw the price of these, right? No, I just sent it to you because I was like, this is a really pretty ass damn. Nice. So the silver is $85. If you want to get that aluminum anodized, it comes up to 105 Worth um, it. It looks really, really cool. They do. They're... Ooh, they I love do. that red, though. I like the I think the, I think the red and the purple are my favorite. The purple really pops. Yes. Um, but yeah. Um, so I actually I, I have heard of these. I'm not into ballad songs just because knives are expensive enough. Ballad songs are kind of a whole different world. Um, they don't they don't necessarily they don't cost any more or any less. But it's just it's just a thing. I try to avoid not to spend too much money. Yeah. Um, but Ooh. this is probably one of my favorites that i've ever seen that the shark design on the trainer blades very very interesting very unique so the question yeah. is if you just magically got one would you be angry 
If I magically got one. Someone got it for you, I guess I'd say. Yeah, I'd be so angry because they got me this instead of something I actually want. What? But these are so no, pretty. They're all, they're all sold out, Josh. Okay, first of all, I will find a way. <laughs> In every color. I will find a way. <laughs> no, but... Um, just absolutely so, they're just so pretty, though. God. Also, the company's called Squid Industries, which... They are indeed. Love. Yep. They are a, uh, mainly a ballast song company. They sell ballast songs and ballast song accessories. <laughs> Got like Hank Hill. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I had to laugh because I was just like, that's exactly what it is. FYI, Josh, they also do sell shirts and shit. So. Hey, Squiddy. <sighs> right. Um, but yeah, they're very, very interesting. Um, interesting little trainers there. I, I really like their their Mako. I just like the name of it. That's why I only reason I'm showing Oh, the Squiddy. Yeah, the that's, squiddy. that's their cheapest. Um, I like their name. It's It just looks so ugly. I don't know how to feel about it. It looks like... That's because it's made entirely of plastic. That is why. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's just like a trainer before you use a trainer. Wow. What are you going to do with the plastic one? Hope you can gouge someone? Like, that's just so dumb. Um, you actually just reminded me. Um, Spiderco okay. makes up a, a plastic trainer as well. Except it's um, it's called the Valley Yo, and it's a pen, and it's significantly cheaper than this, and it's even uglier. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just throwing this out here, is Squid Industries. Their naming is absolutely beautiful. It's perfect, and their clearance is called Calamari Clearance, and I'm just. It is, and I like that. I'm loving this because this is like, the, oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, what? I don't. It's hideous, right? I don't know how to feel about it. It looks almost like a scooter. I guess that's the first thing I thought it was. This looks like a damn scooter. It's... I would use it just for, like, the ugly aesthetic of it. It's it's just... Like someone said in the comment, it's a fun... No, Alexa, no. It's a fun... (laughs) (laughs) I don't understand how she randomly heard me. I didn't say her name. How incredibly rude of her. Right. Also, um, there's a company that I have my wallet from, in US Cases. They make a, a knife called the Squid. Um, hey. They also have, like, the Whale, the Orca, the Prawn, and stuff like that. The Prawn. Anyway. This is not like a Squid. I'm very sad. Ooh. Oh, I love that color, though. <laughs> you don't like that price, though. Um, I wouldn't know, because it's out of stock. It's like five hundred eighty-five dollars. I wouldn't know because I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and yeah, get back sorry to, about that, guys. Uh, stuff. Um, so last podcast, um, me and you were complaining about Pilot it's and the shit. fact that we wanted them to release these freaking inks by yes, themselves. Please. Guess what they doing? They They're releasing them the by, themselves. by themselves. I'm so excited. So I do have some bad news, though. Oh, damn. Um, I was watching Goulet Q&A actually today. Didn't mean to rhyme all that. Yeah, that was a really nice um, rhyme. I'll give you that. And he actually had some more information on these, which I was excited about. Hey, um, there you go. Um, one thing is, and I already knew this, they're launching in March of next year. So oh, a little bit of a way. Me. But, and I don't know if this is MSRP. I really, really hope so. But for the set of the seven fifteen milliliter bottles, which is not a lot of ink, <gasps> it's a hundred dollars. That's not terrible. No. Um, and the regular pilot Roshizuku, like the normal fifty milliliter size bottles, are going to be thirty bucks, which is about ten dollars higher than the normal Roshizukus. So I can I told... still deal with that, guys. I, that's yeah. just y'all don't even understand. So what I told Andy is I'm, I'm basically going to buy the set, and then I'm going to pick one of the colors that I like the most and buy a full-size bottle of it just so I can have that bottle because they look really, really, really cool. I um, like the label, like the alternate colored little scarf ribbon thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be jumping on this. But that's something even uh, us, uh, us plebeians can afford. <laughs> See, I was worried because I was looking at the link you sent me, and it was still that retail of $48,000. And I was like, hmm... Mm. Mm, mm, that hurts. Yeah. That hurts my soul. Real Apparently, Goulet's going to be getting one of those, and he's going to. Tr- Brian's going to try to take a look. I would not touch that thing with a ten foot pole. No, because I'd be scared of scratching that Machier box. But oh lord. But whatever. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really, really, really excited beautiful, about though. that. It is very, very because, beautiful, though. Yeah, because I can actually afford the inks, kind of. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very, very interested to take a look at those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess that you're probably going to get the blue. The light blue. I cannot tell what color it's supposed to be. It does not give me a name. You know, I'm leaning towards that one. I'm leaning towards that one and the pink the most. Which one's the pink? I can't read these things because they're so tiny. The The pink's the one in the exact middle. No, no, no. I know. Take up under that. I don't don't know what the hell the name is. It's going to be the fourth one down. Um, Like, I just can't. Inside 10, coral pink. Yeah. So I can't can't read it. But it's absolutely beautiful. I actually was thinking the pink. If you got one of them, I would probably get the pink. Just because it's a color I've never had. And it's really pink inks. No, I don't have any pink inks. Oh my goodness gracious, dude! I have, I have, I, have, I, I love, I have like four pink inks. Maybe. My five. thing is, if I get a pink ink, I need it to be rose gold first, because I just love rose gold. So, I need that. I think getting a color to match rose gold would be very difficult, but you might be able to do it. Well, I have that dented pen that's supposed to be rose gold, possibly rose gold. I have my Wami LX in rose gold, and I've, I haven't been able to find a match. That's my that problem. Is that like, it it's shiny, and it's pretty, and I'm fairly positive it's not rose gold. It's just like an off color, but we'll see. You may have some luck. Uh, um, I'm hopefully next time you luck. come over, I'll let you borrow my ink swatch. I have a oh, multitude of, of pink you. and um, warmer colored inks you can take a look and compare them to. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Speaking of Pilot, um... I found some new pilot pens while searching on the um, coming soon section on Goulet, which is my favorite section of Goulet, <laughs> um, because I get to check out all the products that are going to be releasing soon that I can't afford, and I found one that I could afford, and that's the Pilot Explorer. Um, I know mm. nothing about this fountain pen. I've never heard of it before, um, mm. but it looks interesting. I, I've, I actually <laughs> really love it. You Okay, Jacob. Really? I love it because I like Pilot because I'm cheap and I love Pilot. I do. I, Pilot I, I like is Pilot. so nice. I love how you're like, I like Pilot because I'm cheap. They have a $48,000 pen set. <laughs> <laughs> go, Pilot, go. But see, I actually like this. This is These are nice pens. I'm surprised at how much I actually like these because they don't look like so, anything I've actually seen before. I have a question. What do you think they're made out of? Because they look to me like they're made out of like, aluminum. Um, kind of, yeah. I could say aluminum, I guess. But if you read the description on Goulet, it says this turquoise resin pen has a matte metallic Ooh. finish. So they're going to be a plastic. So they're going to be Ooh. very lightweight, which is nice. I like that. But my thing is they're coming in $5 higher than the Metropolitan. Which is a very, very popular pen. It is, it is. And I'm not sure who this pen is appealing to apart people from that the budget minded market. Well, people that also don't like cigar shaped pens. That's fair. I, I, I prefer flat tops and flat bottoms. Yeah, so that's what I prefer. Okay, as much as I love my Metropolitans and I love the designs, I want this to come it's in. It's kind of boring. Yeah, kind of. But I want this to come in designs. Like. Not just, oh, it's a really pretty color, it's whatever. I want a design on this pen. And this would, I would absolutely fall in love with this pen. I would buy all of them. I don't know if you'll get a design, but I this pen that. looks like it could certainly be used for that, especially with it being a resin. It's going to be more um, more easy to do a design on the pen. Yeah. Which color would you pick out of these six here? Ooh, the only color I don't right off the bat like is that lime, because it reminds me way too much of an old flip phone that I used to have and I, I kind of hate that <laughs> but other than that the other colors are actually really pretty I'm surprised I'm a really big fan of like all the other colors it annoys me that Goulet decided to use a different picture for the gray pen yeah. than the other ones because it just kills the aesthetic well, those, but, those, know, those probably are what they were sent so they may not have a super clear picture of the gray pen mm, do better Goulet <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, Goulet does great. I love he does, yeah. Um, well, they do. Yeah, there's a, it's that's not a just they. one dude. Not, yeah, it's not just one guy. As much as I keep seeing him, yeah, it's they. Sorry about that. No, no problem. <laughs> um, so, I I'm probably gonna pick up the pink, maybe the turquoise, but probably the pink. I don't have any pink fountain pens apart from my pen BBS three two three. The pink is really nice. It's 
it's a very it's vibrant very, pink. Very bright. Yeah, it's very vibrant. Yes. I think I have the uh, just about a perfect ink to match that as well. So I'm really excited. Is I think it your Lamy's vibrant or, pink? Or Lamy vibrant pink will look actually great in that. I would say it seems. It looks like it's <laughs> how I expected the vibrant pink to actually look. <laughs> I think that's what everyone expected <laughs> to actually look like. And then they're like, not really. Mm. I mean, it's... It's not terrible. It's, it's a nice color, though. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, the Lamy Vibrant Pink All-Star was a bit of a let down. But Do let's not they talk about that because have... those are old wounds. Okay, is it... Click on the pink one because that's the one I can see it the best from. Mm -hmm. Look at the cap. What does it say on it? Or is that just like uh, a... It has the pilot logo and it says pilot. So, oh, I'm sitting looking at it upside down. Yep. That's what's going on here. So I'm sitting there like, what the hell is it saying? It looks like it's a check mark. I'm like, this is a Nike, is it? Um, I, I, I want to bring up one more thing. Yes, please do. So the the Pilot Metropolitan, you know this because you bought a couple of them. Yes. They come with that little squeeze converter. Yes. This does not. This does not. And it costs more. Yeah, I just and, looked down and read it. It doesn't. It's sold separately. Yeah. That's dumb. And, and Gulen mentions that you can use a Con 40 with it. Um, I'm guessing a Con 50 will be applicable as well. But that's going to add to the price. So basically, you're looking at probably a $30 pen here. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's Let's be, be realistic. $30. For $30, this pen is competing directly with the Lamy Safari. It's mm, please don't let it do that because that's gonna fail. The uh, the Lamy Safari is twenty eight. It's competing with the Twisby Eco, which is twenty eight. <clears throat> it's competing with the Caveco All Sport or not All Sport. Oh Jesus, I wish the Caveco Sport <laughs> in plastic. And it's competing with a lot of other pens. I'm gonna purchase one. I'm gonna review it, but I'm very curious to see from a numbers point of view how well this pen does. Because I don't see a market for it. Mm. Apart from budget-minded collectors, which make up a very small percentage of the fountain pen community. Most people, like I'm assuming, I, I know I'm this way, I'm assuming you are too. I'm not going to buy something unless I find it very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Or, or something like that, especially for personal use. I'm going to purchase this mainly for channel review. I wouldn't purchase this for my, for myself. I'll probably purchase this for channel review and give it to you or, or do something with it. Yeah. Because if you don't I, like it, give it to me. Yeah. Because it's still... It's at the, I feel like this is like... We're going to try to not fight ourselves. Because you don't want to make it low enough that it's going to go against the Metropolitan. Because it has such a high following. But at the same time, something? they're at the point where it's just kind of like... You screwed up because you're now going against bigger and better pins. I'm wondering if this pin is their direct attempt to compete with... Um, Lamy. Don't say that. Twisby. Please don't, because this is not the pen to and do it with. I think this is a piss poor looking. This thing. is not the pen to do it with, guys. It's a nice pen. So, it's just not nice enough. You obviously the uh, the Metropolitan just went up in price to eighteen dollars. The Twisby Go is now eighteen dollars, and no offense to the much Metropolitan, I like a lot. Twisby Go is a better pen. Twisby Go so, is prettier. I'm that. wondering if they. Are, are doing this consciously they're like oh well the price of a converter this pin's going to cost as much as the twisby eco we could try to fight back and i i hope that's not what they're doing because they're gonna get destroyed yeah the, the twisby eco the Lamy safari is a, a very very good pen the twisby eco is a great pen as they someone that's well, they really big capacity. fan of, they're really cool the someone that's really big fan of pilot i'm gonna tell you now just twisby's kind of like that pin you go like I don't know how to describe it. I haven't heard anything horrible about Twisby. Like, there's not... You know, don't get this pen because it's crap. Most of the time, you just... They're they're really nice. They're really cheap. Most of them, the good ones, the cheap ones are good. Let's go with that. I, I personally, um, all the pens I've tried there are just fantastic. That's what I'm saying. Like I haven't you, tried the you're fighting, the precision, but... It's a pretty pen. It's a very standard pen, though. It's not really. It is. There's nothing special about it. The Twisbees have like their genetic. They, they have a look. Yeah, they. And look this one's like very. Pen. This one's like, <laughs> we're gonna make a pen. We're just gonna put our logo on it and hope it does stuff. It's not like. It's funny that you say that because I was just about to mention. It looks to me like this is the opposite of the Pilot Metropolitan. In that's that... exactly what it is. 
the, the Pilot Metropolitan is, is Pilot's take on a classic cigar-shaped pen. This is Pilot's take on a classic flat-top pen. Oh, yeah, it is. Hmm, I can see that. So, to me, they're... It, it's... They're too far apart in price, for beginners at least, to be like, oh, well, I prefer the flat top, I'll probably go with that one instead. Yeah. Because a Metropolitan looks much more appealing at $18 with a converter than this does at probably 28 to 30 with a converter. Yeah, because the converter so... on Goulet is 6 bucks for it. Yeah. So, it, it's literally $29, $30 with tax. Plus, you gotta and... get shipping on top of that. With beginners especially, um, they often equate... Um, weight to quality which is not necessarily true at all um some people prefer heavier pens like me uh, but they don't have to be made of metal like the pelican yeah and i prefer five. lighter pens so it's yeah uh, it's not always weight uh, equals quality I, I love the pelican um i love my twisby vac 700 and my twisby 580 all those have metal internal parts and plastic outsides those are some of my favorite pens ever so, but for beginners, you know, that, that metal feel, that metal weight may mean something. They may, they may think, oh, yeah, this weighs, you know, 100 times more than my big crystal ever did, so this must be a much better pen. And if, if they're leaning towards that, um, I don't think this pen will sell very well. I'm wondering if they're going to maybe market this one a bit more heavily than the Metropolitan. Um, the Metropolitan seems like a bit of a, a dark horse kind of thing it, it blew up in the fountain pen world and it's you know famous now but i'm just wondering what they're gonna do with this because uh, i don't i don't see their angle and i would love to my thing is this going by what goulet says it's coming around in november mm -hmm. you have so it's gonna be right there for the holiday a month season. to market this down and you know what yeah. that is a lot of time that i'll admit that is a lot of time but they should have already started marketing this back during, like, the beginning of September or even August. At least having something yeah. shown for it. Not just have it randomly added to Goulet and you're just like, oh, what is this pen? Yeah, it's... I don't know. Yeah, That's that's about what I was wondering is, you know, Ooh. what is this pen? So I just sent you a link here. I'm going to talk about Goulet. This is Goulet's Edison Nouveau for the fall. These pens sell out typically very, very quickly. And um, I heard of this before I saw the pictures, and I was like, hmm, another fall-themed pen. This one would be really cool. I expect a warm, nice colors. This one's almost a wintery kind of thing. And yeah, kind I didn't of. like it at first, but I kind of like it now. The The acrylics that Edison does are just beautiful. These are all hand-turned, really, really cool pens. It's branded on their Edison Nouveau Premier 2018 Fall Edition. It's it's nice. I'm really surprised these haven't sold out already, to be honest. I'm considering they've been out all day. But I don't know, it may be like an... Oh, so, oh, never mind. Okay, so I just went for the broad, which is the nib size I would be interested in. Those are all completely gone. All the broads are gone. So that's the <laughs> nib size that's already sold out. Um, so I don't, I don't have enough to purchase this pen at the moment, and I don't know if I'd spend $170 on it. If I did, I would have to really, really like the color scheme, but this is a very, very interesting... Um, it's a very look. pretty pen. I like it quite a bit. I don't know if I would It'd say... Be, it... I don't know if I would say it's a winter pen. It looks more like a spring pen, I guess. Maybe because it's the pinky-purple color with it. I just don't feel like it's winter. I'm getting like a like a Disney winter from it, man. Mm, yeah, Maybe. Like I don't know. Like, like I feel a, like this is more like an Easter-y pen because the colors would coincide very nicely with Easter. So that's possible. Um, it's a multi-seasonal yeah. pen, guys. <laughs> hey, it can be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it can be whatever um, so you yeah, want it to be. The um, Edison Nouveau Galaxia is out um, if you're interested in that. I still haven't tried a pen from Edison. I, I probably should. Probably. I've, I've heard a lot of really good stuff about them. And hint, these, hint, wink, everybody. Let's send him a pen. Yeah, Josh sent me this. Um, <laughs> no, but um, definitely check that out if you're interested. I don't know how long these are going to last, so if you want one, go buy one now. I've seen these gone very, very quickly for other colors, so just keep that in mind. Okay. All right, apart from that quick interjection, let's keep it rolling. So next up is something very interesting to me as well, and that's the Platinum Procyon. 
So we were just talking about Pilot doing questionable stuff. And here comes Platinum. <laughs> and I feel again that they're batting at Twisby. And I don't know if it's direct or indirect, but I think it's a terrible idea. Because the, these pins, um, these are brand new. Um, they're not out yet, but they'll be coming out soon. Um, oh, yeah, think of very them? soon. Okay. Okay. As much as I love my Metropolitans, flat top pins are really pretty. And I actually really like these colors. They're very light, almost. Like, I don't know how to describe it. But I'm, I adore these colors. Even the yellow one, which I'm surprised about because I usually hate yellow pens. But the pricing on them is very high. Mm-hmm. And I think part of that has to do with the materials, to be honest. These are made out of aluminum. Which yeah, is, I'm um, sitting here. I'm reading the thing. It's aluminum. Ooh, the Metropolitan's made out of brass. A lot of entry-level cheaper pens are made out of brass. Um I do believe that your rose gold pen that you get from the Pincho, I think that's aluminum. It um, is. It's aluminum. It felt like aluminum to me. Yeah. Aluminum is going to cost a little bit more than brass is. It's going to be a little bit lighter. And um, it, it may be more durable depending on the type of finish you put over it. So I don't know if these are, these don't look to be anodized to me. They look like they're painted or lacquered on. Um, I will say the design to me is very compelling. I love it. From a design standpoint, it looks fantastic. I love the persimmon orange color. Yes, um, that's like, like my Josh absolute mentioned. favorite one. Yeah, well, like you mentioned, they're kind of um, damn it, what's that word? Pastel. Thank you. Yeah, they're kind I of didn't want to say pastel, colors. but yeah, they're, they're pastel colors. They have very interesting colors. Honestly, I like all of them. Even the citron orange looks interesting. The porcelain white's kind of boring, but the, the turquoise blue, I hate that the citron, citron yellow. I just hate that it's. <laughs> it's called that no. like it kills me but the orange and the, the deep the deep sea is actually pretty interesting too that kind of navy yeah i'm actually surprised because i was like at first i thought it was black and i was like no this is not this is not a black pen i'm very surprised yeah it's so this comes with um it's the right slip shape. and seal kind of thing which is um supposed to keep your nib you know wet for like a year or something like that mm-hmm. um I can attest to say my Platinum 3776 with that same mechanism has never dried out on me. Oh, nice. Um, I'll, I'll toss that out there. But like you mentioned, the the price is just, it's looking a little high. It's very, yeah. Um, Generally, when a pen goes above $30, I, I tend not to purchase it just for channel review. It has to have something a bit more compelling or a chance that I might use it. And this crosses that $30 threshold, and I think that's where they should be, is about $30. Now, granted, I haven't wrote with these, but the nib looks like the exact same nib on their cheaper models. And that nib writes okay, but it's not a $53 nib. It's not. And the finishes look great on these. They're very compelling. I think if these had released around Easter, they would have blown out of the water because the pastel colors look amazing. Um, which Easter's not really a thing in Japan, I don't believe. But um, it's it's nice. They look really, 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 really cool. If you like a little bit of feedback in your nib, you may be interested. But another thing, and it this drives me insane about some of these Japanese companies, it does not come with a converter. No, it doesn't at all, which is annoying. It's $52.80, include a fucking converter. They're not that expensive. I know they're. I know they cost less to make than we pay for them because we pay five dollars a pop for a platinum converter. Yeah, I, exactly. I know because I have like three or four of them, and it's it's stupid. Um, I've had to buy them for platinum pens I've purchased here in the U.S. I've had to buy them for the platinum pen that I purchased it over in Japan. It's it's ridiculous. Include one. It's a fifty-two dollar pen. Include. You a think converter. you can include a converter? Yeah. Seriously. That being said, um, I love the color scheme of this pen. Um, the only thing I don't like is the nib design. It's pretty boring, but the clip looks really freaking cool. The cap, to me, is super appealing. Because you have that silver band, then you have Pro Sound, <coughs> Sorry. Which is named after a star, and then you have the silver clip. And up at the top, there's a little bit of a seam. You can see where the top yes. of the cap meets the finial. And it looks so fucking good. Oh, gosh. 
if I saw one of these in person or something, I might have to actually pick one up. Or if I find one used, I might. But they look fantastic. It's they look, they look almost, really cool. It's kind of like, I don't know how to describe this. Like, if you ever see like an older car where they're very rounded, weirdly. Yeah. Actually, it's almost I'm like a new take on an old pin. That's what I was like. Well. It looks like a new take on an old style. And I, I'm absolutely loving it, actually. It looks like a very 50s kind of retro. Exactly. Kind of That's exactly color. how I would say it. it's, it's. They're all very 50s even style. Even the clip kind of looks like a car hood. Yeah. Like, I'm looking at it. I feel like they had an aesthetic going for it, and they really hit it. It's out of the ballpark. It's just. Oh, it looks fantastic. Very expensive. But for the price, I need it to write better than my two dollar platinum preppy. I need it. Exactly. If it's a, if it feels the same, it's not worth it at all. No. What so kind of nib does I, yours have? Uh, mine has a fine. Um, platinum's nibs are interesting. They offer uh, a bit of feedback. They're not scratchy, but you can feel them on the paper. They feel kind of like writing with a hard pencil. Yeah. So I smooth out my platinum nibs. Um. I wrote with their fines, and then I have a medium on the 3776. Um, and I've wrote with their gold and steel nibs across multiple pens. And the nib on my 3776 is pleasant. It's so okay. nice, especially after I smoothed it out. It's pretty good. But if this is using the same nib as they use on the preppy, which again is $2, I'm, I'm going to absolutely that was my, destroy this. That was if my worry. If it's. I don't know platinum. I'm a I'm gonna throw that out right now, guys. For anyone that like gets angry about it, I don't know platinum. It's really pretty. There's just a price point that I don't want to touch with certain things. Not if I don't feel like buying like a certain pen. Um. But I would really hate if this nib was the exact same thing you can get on a cheaper one. That would kill me. So I just sent you a picture. Ooh, Go ahead and nibs. take a look at the nib on that pen. And they have a close-up. It's the fourth picture over. And compare it to the nib on this pen from what you can see. They look the exact same. Thing. Yeah, they look the exact same here is what I was about to say. It's very... Uh... Oh, and it's just... 308? Platinum 08. And we don't have high enough resolution pictures. No, the these are all yet. really... Mm... It's really like I would I would take it if it was cheaper just for the body because it's absolutely pretty. Oh, the body's worth thirty dollars. Oh yeah, the body's worth thirty dollars. That's just it's they're still expensive. It's almost double that, guys. I, again, with a converter, you're looking at and tax and all that stuff. You're looking at like sixty bucks. I don't see exactly. sixty dollars here. You, you know what you can get for sixty dollars? That's amazing, and um, accepts even more ink, and in my opinion, looks even better. A Twisby 580, or really at 60 bucks you can get a 580 all. Um, they release them in limited edition colors all the time. They have tons of different options. And if this is the same nib on the preppy, the Twisby blows it out of the water. Exactly. It's, it's, that's the worry for it. Is this going to happen? I'm looking in, I'm looking for like just any kind of picture. That's In, in my opinion, that $30 to $70 range is Twisby's. And when you put a pin in that range, you're really at risk of getting ignored. Yeah. I was going to say destroyed, but that's not true. But ignored. And some people don't like Twisbees. Fundamentally, they're going to look for other stuff in the price range. But the price range is very, very competitive now that Twisbees in the market because they're offering, you know, yeah, interesting filling exactly. mechanisms, interesting materials, int very good nibs, interesting colors. And they're doing it for a very good price. And I will say these are probably much more affordable in Japan. They're probably twenty or thirty dollars in Japan. Yeah. There's such a massive markup for Sailor Platinum and Pilot when they come to America. It's ridiculous. Like my thirty-seven seventy-six, I paid sixty dollars for that pen over in Japan. It is a gold nib pen. Okay, let me pull it up on Goulet's site currently. Um, it is one hundred and seventy-six dollars. So it was $116 cheaper in Japan. Which is absolutely ridiculous. I, Josh, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I've ever told you this or not. But um, I picked up the Yodabashi camera, which is like fucking Walmart had sex with like every other store in the world. <laughs> and, they just, and they're just like, I'm not exaggerating. It's like a 15-story 
store oh which is crazy shit they have they have an f- entire floor dedicated just to technology they have an entire floor dedicated just to toys that it's ridiculous. sounds like absolute hell to have to work in though yes it, it, it they had an insane amount of employees but it was amazing it was so fucking cool anyway um over near the watches and stuff they have these pins sixty dollars a pop i'm not exaggerating i wish i had bought like three or four of them in different colors oh i regret it so bad not buying more of them so so when we go back in a couple of years i'm going to buy many many more i'll I'll probably (laughs) just buy you one just to fucking buy it (laughs) bad jesus they're they're really good though for the price and they're very have you seen these before at all which ones the the 3776 i just sent you a picture that's the one i have in that color very 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 oh yeah i've seen this one this is yeah you've let me hold this i feel like so um and i'm not trying to put goulet out of business or anything like this i I know there's a there's a markup um from a toyo and these i think they're distributed for platinum i could be wrong um i'm sure there's a markup from them when they come to america and all that stuff but if you're spending the 60 or 70 dollars and you're just looking for a really good pen if you can't get to Japan, check eBay or something. Yeah. Or Amazon. You can find one of these for about that price on the used market. And I don't know what the Procyon is offering, but I promise you this pen is going to be better. And it, it, it too doesn't come with a converter. Now, this one does come with a converter on Goulet's site. So, yeah, if you pay an extra $116, you can actually get a converter with it. That's interesting. I had to buy mine for an extra 5 bucks. Um, wait, 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 what? This one comes with a converter. It's in the fourth picture over, which is interesting. Mine only came with cartridges. The one I bought in Japan, I did purchase a converter with it over there, though. Um, oh yeah, it does mention both are con- included. Yeah, but this pen is fantastic, <laughs> and the pin's fantastic, and you can pick it up from certain places for the same price as the Procyon, and I just don't see platinum doing the procyon well enough to justify that i'd be interested to know how much it costs in japan for sure but yeah i don't know about that yeah all right let's go ahead and move on before i get any more cynical than i already am about these pens um next up the field notes yes love you field notes what do you think of these hmm <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cough. I'm not no feeling that well. Um, I love the outside colors. The green's actually really nice. It's very forest green. The blue's a very nice faded, like, denim blue. I hate the inside of the green one. <laughs> but I like the blue one. But that green one reminds me too much of, like, fungus. And that really? makes me want to, like draw back real hard I, I can't do the green inside but I love the color of it so are you going to be purchasing these what was that are you going to be purchasing these the blue one wait are they coming to set or are they it's a two pack yeah, mm. yeah they're it's $13 for two oh, and they're very bad. unique they're very unique um, sizes on these very long they're three and a half inches wide by seven inches long. It's uh, it's unique. Um, the binding on these is actually equivalent to to the um, signature editions, which is one that oh, I nice. have. I love the binding nice. on those. They're very very nice. And of course, you can also sign up for their subscription if you're interested at all in that. But yeah, um, they did a unique thing with these. I don't think they're as interesting as the um, coastal editions. No, the coastal or. Are- Obviously, no offense to the guy. Like, these are nice. These are cool, but you're, mm-hmm. you're not going to beat the coastal guys. That's yeah. Those are too nice. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a very 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 nice pen or not pen <laughs> um notebook. And for this to don't get me wrong, the cover, the inside of the covers look really really cool. They look awesome, but. Coastal, they really knocked it out of the park. 
so it's, I don't know, I, I think I agree with you though that the blue one looks more compelling than the green, but I really don't like, I don't dislike the green, it looks like, it reminds me of something under a microscope, honestly. Mm. Okay. I think the blue is, is a bit more poppy though, and it's a bit more up my oh, mind. Oh yeah. yeah, the blue with the inside looking like a retro wood is really nice, I, I absolutely love that. I just I can't do the inside of that green so much. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. I would love for the green to have the same thing as the blue because then it'll look like a tree. Like you can open because green foliage on the inside of it and it's like a tree. It's a really trippy ass tree, but it's a tree. Yeah. If you understand what I mean. Yeah, it, I, just, I can see that. I really just don't like that inside of that green. It's so it's messy looking. I, I'm glad they're trying something new. To be uh, honest. Yeah. Um, it looks yeah, very these long, are these know. are kind of odd, but but yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm not hating them. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is them. um because <laughs> normally with field notes, at least if there's like a design, the front and the back will have the design like going all the way around it. I'm wondering if this has the same like inner side like because I know when you open the first page, it has it. I'm wondering mm-hmm. if the last page also has it. So it like, I'm is, guessing so. I would hope so, because if it doesn't, I would be like, that's not really worth it if it's only one extra page that you're getting just for a really pretty design. Not unless you just absolutely love this design. Which I yeah, hate. they're 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 different. They're nice. Um, I I like field notes ever since I got some of them. So. I kind of wish they'd done something different with the internal paper, made it more interesting. That but... was my thing. I was like, if they would have even just slightly tinted the paper to be like a similar color, I know like that would probably be light, more expensive. Subtle green or yes, a subtle blue. A subtle green or yeah. a subtle blue. I would have been like, yeah. this is perfect. This is probably, this will be higher up than some of the other ones I've seen. But it would not, it still couldn't be Coastal. I'm sorry. Coastal is, is just. Yeah, Coastal has an outside and inside pop. This one's more reserved until you open it up and it's like, boom, you know, this looks really cool. Exactly. But, yeah, I don't don't know about these. It's, I don't hate them, but I'm probably not going to spend money on them. But, you know, I loved Coastal and I didn't purchase it, so. I love Coastal and I got both. (laughs) They're they're really nice though. They're really really. They cool. really are. I started. I wrote on one page of the coastal, and I was like, uh, I just destroyed this book. I can never use it again. So, it's see with me, I, I have right. to write on a notebook to start to use it. I have like two really really good notebooks, like the Tomori River notebook that I purchased at the pen show. Yeah. Was like twenty six dollars. Yes. I've not wrote a single thing in it because I'm like, I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> but, um, I, I will eventually start writing in it. I'm working on um an apica cd notebook that andy had oh, nice. that she wasn't using now um so I'm, I'm trying to write a bit in that i just have so many notebooks going at once it's just uh, i do have um one of my field notes signature editions there in my bag at all times just rejoining quick notes and stuff nice so that's about it as far as pen topics go there's one more thing i wanted to um show you on here if you'll go to that watch strap link that i sent you the steel blue yeah i was wondering why you sent me the steel blue one yeah so um wait is this the watch or is this the strap it's just the strap this company makes watch straps and um you can go to their shop and see other stuff i just i just sent you just the top one that they have listed there is this a seiko watch no yeah the, the watch is a seiko yeah, the watch but you can is use the strap on yeah i see now the strap, strap on anything. anything yeah so um currently pretty. they're only offering 22 millimeter straps which is what made me sad but they look really cool they're somewhat reminiscent of a NATO watch trap, but they have these fasteners. They the, are, actually. The now that I think about it, it is, looks just like a NATO watch trap. They look really freaking cool, and they I love do. the fastener idea. So, um, unfortunately, my Makara Sea Turtle only fits um, 20. Also, these are completely sold out. They launched these, I think, today, mm. and the 20, they're wow. sold out in every fucking color. They only did six of them, but they sold out all of them. And I was like, damn. So I contacted the guy and I was like, hey, would you possibly make a 24 millimeter so I can fit it on my watch? And he's like, well, you know, um, I may consider that if it's coming up with demand, but I'll need to do the 20 millimeter first. And I went and looked and I was like, what? 
So yeah, they um, don't even have the 20 millimeter made yet. So I think it's one gentleman doing this. I could be wrong. That's what it sounds like because if I'm... you read the little description in the corner where he, he talks about um, his 11-year-old son making this website for him and misspelling still, which is the reason why it's misspelled. I think, yeah, I it sounds like one, it's, yeah, it's like one person that's doing this that may or may not know how to do websites <laughs> yeah so it's it's it must be one guy but um the price on these is very 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 good to be honest um i've purchased for much less cool watch little, straps for yes, 25 dollars for so. a actual metal watch strap this is really nice it's um it's interesting see it looks like it's made of nylon with his metal components and that's what i thought originally when you first sent it is it, it was it was nylon i'm like okay this is stupid but no it's it's really nice i like it God, I, all of them out I, of personally, stock. I'm wearing a NATO right now. I'm wearing a two-piece NATO by Clockwork Synergy. Um, but I would love to check one of these out. But, yeah, they sold out, and they don't have 24 millimeter yet. But I figured I'd show you because I think you do have a, um, a 22 millimeter. I have watch a 22, yeah. Makes me sad. I would have bought yeah, one. Yeah, please, God, buy one of these when they when they come back in stock. Oh, my I don't know God. How good it is. Like this? They look really cool, too. I'm actually in love the, with uh, these, yeah. I think the steel blue and the raw denim are my favorites, but, you know. They they have a lot of other, a lot of other colors as long as you like blue and brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give it this. <laughs> That's all I the, I'm actually a really big fan of the still blue, the raw denim, and the chino color, just because those are probably the favorite ones. Um, yeah. Blue jeans not that great. It's just like a brand, random in between. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would get. I yeah. would really love for him to put out like a red or an orange as well. I'm sure he will at some point in the future. Maybe, you know, have it last longer than a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not sure it sold out in that, fa- in that fast of a time, but that's what it seemed like to me. Yeah. Um, just, also, I these want to like point out, I just checked out shipping on just... his site. No, I, not that I know of. Hmm. This is the first time this I've heard like of them. really them. dropped off. Holy I, crap. I was on Instagram. Um, but I checked out shipping just now on these. Like, three bucks a pop, which is very That's really in my nice. Holy crap. Yeah, How? So... so you're getting this watch strap, like, and they're, they're made in America um, with a very unique design and a very unique hardware and a new take on it, as far as I can see, for less than $30 for this really, really cool-looking watch strap. Yes, like, exactly. Like, if the material's nice and, and smooth, mm, 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 mm. Um, I I do have a 22 millimeter watch strap, so I mean a watch, so that I don't wear a ton. But I may buy one of these just to put on it at some point if they come back in stock, which will be ironic because I would have paid more for the strap than I would have, than I would have the watch. Um, so that, that will be interesting if that happens. Also, um, they do have the Platinum Procyon on, on Amazon.jp. I just checked. Um, they have them normally for about $48, which I think still sounds a little high, maybe because it's newer. They do have one used, though, that comes up to about 37 bucks, which I think is a much more acceptable price Yeah, that's for a it. much, much better price. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's going to be about it for uh, this episode. Was there anything that we glossed over that you'd like to dig into a little deeper? I would just like to apologize for everyone that hears me like breathe hard. I didn't think about it until I looked over, and I noticed that the green light was like going off. Um, <laughs> I didn't I hear you breathing hard. I have enough, so. allergies really badly, and I'm just I'm positive I'm gonna get sick in the next like couple of days because all I've had around me at work is freaking sick people. So try not to catch. While we were down it, in Savannah, actually, uh, Chris had allergies really bad, so I imagine it's, allergies it's something season happening. like smacked me in the face with its allergy dick. So I just Every... not feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, Pretty pretty much ever since ever since we were kids, you you've you've had pretty bad allergies around this time of year. So yeah, it's gotten much better. You, so hopefully I don't yeah. die. I'm hoping it doesn't get too bad. Um, are, are you staying stocked up on Benadryl? I actually can't take Benadryl because I will really? fall asleep. That's Benadryl not a bad thing. hits me really hard. <laughs> like within an hour of taking it, I'm basically falling asleep. I have super bad motion sickness, so I have to take Dramamine, and I love oh, it. God. That shit knocks me out so yeah. quick. I'm like, yeah. So I slept most of the way to Savannah and back. It was it was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, okay. um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out this on SoundCloud if you're interested. You can download it there if you want to listen to it on the go. Um, keep an eye out for all of my other videos and stuff coming up. And thank you to Josh. And hopefully, always happy he, to do it. He, he will join us next week as well, or next week and a half. It depends on how it works out. But thanks, everybody. Um, if you have any questions for either one of us, feel free to ask. If you'd like to compliment our synergy, um, yeah, that <laughs> in as well. We do have wonderful synergy. And um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you all have a good day wherever you are or a good night. Thanks, guys. Bye. See ya.